Because dairy products provide us with lots of different nutrients, they are really useful foods for people to consume on a regular basis. Um, certainly, um, there were recommendations for uh, young children to consume milk, preschool children, for example, to have milk regularly as, as, as one of the drinks that they take. And there are also, also a number of benefits um, recognised for older people uh, because um, as we get older we don't always have as much appetite so it's important that we have foods that pro provide lots of different nutrients in, 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 in one smallish volume so they're called nutrient dense foods. Um, so for, pe for those sorts of people their dairy products are sort of really quite valuable foods for them but for everybody they're an important source of calcium and for people who don't consume dairy products regularly um, it's that little bit more difficult for them to provide um, within their diets sufficient calcium because we get about half our calcium from dairy products typically. So there are lots of nutritional benefits associated with dairy foods, particularly when people consume uh, the lower fat types of dairy products. Um, and for those people familiar with the Eat Well plate, you'll know that there is a section within that plate which is about, um, a, about a, a sixth, I think, um, of the whole plate itself, which emphasises the fact that there is a role for these products in the diet on a, on a daily, regular basis. Um, and in practice, it probably means eating two to three portions of dairy foods a day. So we'll be talking there about the equivalent of a glass of milk or a matchbox-sized lump of cheese or a yoghurt. Each of those be roughly equivalent to a portion. Um, in terms of specific um, health areas where dairy products are important, um, using calcium as the example, bone health is the, the, the classic one I think most people would think about. Whilst we're growing, we are depositing calcium in our bones um, up, up until probably our mid-twenties. And, and in a sense that's making sure that we've got enough bone in the bank, such as as we get older and we naturally lose bone, we don't get weak bones or osteoporosis as, as we get older. Um, and it's well recognised that for children, for example, regularly having a glass of milk or a milkshake or milk containing foods is really important in providing sufficient calcium because calcium needs during children, uh, children's life, during childhood are higher than they are for adults. Um, and the same for similar reasons applies to pregnant women for example um, and, and women who are breastfeeding, the baby needs calcium um, as well as the mother herself and therefore her needs um, will be, potentially will be higher.